What's up my brothers from another mother? In today's video, you're gonna learn about 10 things every guy needs to know about maximizing testosterone and reducing estrogen with daily habits. Certain things you're gonna to wanna to add to your habits, other things you're gonna to wanna to remove. I know there's a lot of great content on YouTube and the internet that talks about things like heavy compound exercises, good restful long sleep that's undisturbed, uh, supplementing with zinc and of course things like mussels and oysters. Uh, but all that's been covered fairly well. So I wanna get into these things that are a little less known and offer some feedback to you. Let's start with number one. Now, I'm a big fan of licorice. I've always been a big fan since I was a kid. It's either a love or hate, and I drink licorice tea. Unfortunately, my relationship with licorice is officially over. The main compound in licorice has been found in university studies to nearly half testosterone levels in men. So if you like the candy or you like the tea, you're probably better off without it, guys. Number two, any list like this wouldn't be complete without talking about soy. I know there's a lot of conflict on the interwebs about soy, but it contains phytoestrogens and eating high amounts of soy can be as effective as male birth control in men. So just let that settle in for a minute. If you're consuming high amounts of soy beverages, soy products, products that might be infused with soy, you're probably not doing yourselves any favor. I'm gonna leave it at that at number two. Let's hop into number three, alcohol and beer. So in lab studies where 5% of the daily calories came from alcohol, they found that lab rats' testes shrunk 50%. Uh, you'll also find that hops are in beer, which is also a uh, estrogenic compound as well. I mean, alcohol's fun from time to time. Uh, I've pretty much limited it or removed it from my diet for the most part. I'd encourage you guys to consider doing the same. I mean, it's not great for your blood levels either. Number four, let's talk about sugary drinks, the stuff that most people consume in vast quantities, which has basically led to the epidemic of obesity we have in North America. I mean, every single drink you find, even the healthy ones that appear healthy or are branded as healthy as, you know, mineral or vitamin type water, they often have a lot of sugary compounds. Uh, to put that in perspective, a tin of Coke has around 42 grams of sugar, which I believe is something like 23 sugar cubes. So if you're back from my day around my age, you'd put sugar cube in your coffee. Um, you know, when you were younger, they didn't have like the spoon in type or anything like that. That's a hell of a lot of sugar. So it's something that you want to consider. What ends up happening is it lowers testosterone by about 25% in research studies, which brings me to the next point. Let's go to number five. You want to lower your belly fat and your body fat especially. Uh, one, it creates inflammation in the body when you're carrying around too much belly fat or body fat. The other problem is there's something called aromatize, which converts testosterone to estrogen in men's bodies. So if you're carrying around extra body fat, you're going to have higher le levels of aromatize, which are going to move testosterone into an estrogenic compound more throughout your body. So do yourself a favor, move better or move more and, and eat healthier. Let's hop into number five. I want to talk about phytoestrogen. So here I've got a popular body wash. I'm not going to read off the product, but what I am going to do is I'm going to read off the ingredients and forgive me if I get them wrong. We've got water, sodium, sulfite, sodium, sulfite, sodium chloride, cocodomophrophil, benetine. Uh, it's got fragrance, benzatine, citric acid, disodium, ida, methyl chlorosodium. I can't even pronounce that whole one. That's a long word. Methyl cyto has a total loaning and yellow five and blue one, I guess the colors. Um, guys, basically anything that you can't, that's a household cleaning product, a toothpaste, a shampoo, a soap, anything like that, that you can't consume without getting very sick, it's probably going to have phytoestrogens in it. Now, what I want to talk about is the channel sponsor, which is the Tactical Soap Company. Scott Carr has been good enough to help me to continue to create content on this channel. So let's take a moment to talk about these products. We've got The Bond, which is, of course, inspired by James Bond. The Durden by Tyler Durden and Maverick, of course, you can see Top Gun. Now, the reason why he created this on the top right of the screen, I did an hour long interview with him talking about the startup of his company and all the obstacles that he went through. But this is a great little product. And yes, does it cost more than this stuff over here? Absolutely. Is it a higher quality product? 
Absolutely. And it's also infused with pheromones that are proven to attract women. The reason why I've thrown this in here as number six is guys, if you're showering anyway, why not use a product that doesn't contain crap in it? That's higher quality. It's handmade. It's made in America. And the other point to this stuff as well, it's got pheromones in it. So if anything, it'll give you an advantage. Now you're not going to have to, you know, walk into a nightclub or a bar after showering with this stuff and have women throw themselves at you. You're still going to have to learn a little bit of game and have some red pill awareness, but can Consider, since you're showering anyway, you might as well support the creation of the channel and grab some of this tactical soap. The multi-pack is the best deal. Pinned in the description below is a 10% off discount code if you use Cooper in your order. Okay, let's move in on to number seven, and that's flax seeds. Lignans are highly estrogenic and they do reduce testosterone. I've, I've used uh, flax seeds for years in my smoothies and shakes. Uh, I stopped using it about a year ago when I learned about this. Um, but they sell it to you because it's high in omegas and that's of course good for your body. Uh, but what they don't tell you usually, especially men, is that it's got estrogenic compounds in it that will reduce testosterone. Now this is how effective it is. I found a study that discovered that if they fed 30 grams a day uh, to women that were dealing with, like women in the later years of their lives, they usually, their, their testosterone levels will start to grow up. And what usually happens is this phenomenon where they have the peach fuzz on the upper lip and sometimes in different parts of their face. And by feeding them flax seeds, they actually found that it lowered their testosterone sufficiently enough that it completely stopped and reversed the hair growth. That's how powerful flax seeds are. So guys, if you've been using them in your smoothies or shakes or sprinkle them on your parfaits or cereals or anything like that, it's probably a better idea to remove them completely from your diet. All right, let's take a look at number eight. Uh, I want to talk about meat that isn't grass fed or free range. They typically feed uh, farmed meat. Uh, GMO, soy, or corn because it's cheap. It's very easy to manufacture. It's cheap. They basically run it like a like a factory production line. This this food is of course going to go in the animal. It's going to you know reside itself in the meat, and you're going to eat it, which is of course going to get in your body. Uh, I know that meat has a protein content, which we as guys know that we need, but you're far far better off seeking out and paying for higher quality uh, animal protein. Uh, animal protein that is of course grass fed and free range. So keep your eye open for that in the future and try to avoid the cheap stuff in the grocery store. Of course, it's always gonna cost you a lot more to eat healthier and have a better operating endocrine system, which is of course your blood labs and your markers. So consider the meat that you're eating as well. All right, let's talk about number nine. Uh, kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and mushrooms especially. If you eat this, it will reduce estrogen in your body. Um, there's a product that I use because I'm not a big fan of, of, uh, of greens. I don't have a lot of time to cook them and put them together. But I found out that there's this product called Dim. You can grab it on Amazon. Uh, this one in particular is called Dim Plus. If you go into the health food stores, they sometimes have it stashed away um, in the anti-breast cancer aisle. Or there's a little section where they, where they have uh, anti-breast cancer products simply because um, one of the problems that women have when they have breast cancer is their estrogen levels are too high. So they recommend this product to lower it. Men can also take it as well. There's a recommended dose on there. So consider adding either dim to your diet or eating more uh, dark green leafy vegetables like kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and even mushrooms are very high uh, in the compounds that'll help you there. And last but not least, I want to add the phone in the pocket because this is something you can stop doing very, very easily. Um, it's been proven that it affects mitochondria health in the testes, especially in the Leydig cells, which is what's going to uh, create testosterone. Um, there are products that they sell, like they have phone shields you can put your phone in and it will shield if you want to keep it in your pocket. Uh, you can also buy underwear, which is laced with silver, which acts as a shield as well. Uh, my philosophy is I don't really care for either of those things. My preference is keep the cell phone away from my body as much as possible. If I'm going somewhere, it's not in my pockets, either in my hand or in a backpack if I'm going somewhere. I definitely don't leave it in my pocket. Uh, same thing with laptops, like laptops on the crotch, you're going to end up with the same sort of signals, whether it's Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or cell phone signals. It's going to disturb the way that mitochondria health works in your testes. So that's the list. Ten. Uh, leave your comment below in the description. And again, guys, I'd love it if you could help support the creation of the content on this channel. Uh, the Tactical Soap Company has been a great sponsor linked in the description below. Scott Carr's company is a coupon code for 10% off if you use Cooper. Again, it's infused with pheromones, which will help you attract women, obviously a lot better than without them. And it's a more natural product 
than stuff that I need a magnifying glass to pronounce uh, that is going to serve you no good. Remember, your skin is the largest organ in your body. And if you're going to rub a product on your skin that's inferior and is going to lower testosterone and increase estrogen because it has phytoestrogens in it, you're not going to be better off. Thanks for checking out today's video. Leave a comment below, smash the like button. See you guys in the next video. Peace.